guys, just walk around the all new Subaru Outback. Um, sorry for the background noise because this deal is right next to a main road, so I do apologize. Towards the front, you got your headlights as you can see, which looks quite nice. They're also blacked out as you can see. Got a chrome grill here, looks very nice. Also, you have a camera right there. So I do apologize. Headlight washers, fog lights, and you got some chrome around it. Front diffuser. This car has a fuel consumption of 7.3 liters per 100 Ks. It's also a 2.5 liter engine and it's a CVT. Transmission and it's a petrol. So. Indicators integrate integrate into the side view mirror. Also, here you have your side cameras. See right there. I think I blurred out, so I'm just gonna go back here. Your rims. They are Bridgestone tyres, Bridgestone Dueler HP, H slash B Sport. That's what it says. Got the sort of rugged. Plastic on the side. Got the Outback logo there. Yeah. It also has a raised ride height, as you can see, compared to the Liberty wagon. Roof racks. Some more chrome here. Go towards the rear of the car. It's a bit hard because literally stepping on grass. Yeah. Ugh, there you go. Rear the car. Tail lights. Very nice. Oh, do daytime run light there? I believe. Super symmetrical all the drive system. You also have a rear view camera, third brake light. Oh, it's very hard, I'm like stepping all over here. Got the bumper, the boot here. Manual tailgate. Sorry, powered tailgate actually. Just realized. Yeah, powered tailgate. You can see. So, boost. Got a full size spare tire, your jack and tool kits. If I pull these handles down, seats fall down. You see they fall down Whoa. very hard here, nice and flat. If you're wondering what this is, this fixes on over here and what that does that's to cover your item. So when you put like I don't know, let's say you got a box or something, that just covers it. So people can't peek into your boot and see what you have. Prevents theft. So I have some hooks here. Got another one here. Some additional storage on the side there. Tilt that down, you got a hook, a hanger, another one here. Pretty cool. Very nice carpet, you can see. It's very nice. Lots of room, great for putting luggage, going on snow trips, things like that. Very nice. 
Tall tailgate as I mentioned. Oh. Minutes. Close this nice and shot. To the interior. Sorry, you had the radio playing in the background. Electric seats. Go. There you go. Here's the interior. Towards the front, got your gauges, as you can see. Got your speed on the left, temperature gauge for the engine, fuel gauge, and obviously a speedometer, as you can see there. And you got a little LCD display, cost that displays all your information. Doesn't tell me how many case it's done, that's all right. Leather wrap steering wheel, it's very nice. It's not perforated, good ball string, you can see. Gray stitching here, very nice. Power shifters, minus, plus. It actually has the same steering wheel as on the new Impreza. Just noticed that just now. Towards the left, you got your radio media controls. Volume up and down, shift to stations, hands free telephone, answer cancel calls, your voice command, and the right you've got your other settings for your cruise control, lane departure, stuff like that. Pretty nice. Set your cruise control, all that. I believe that's your different modes your sport and intelligent. Buttons have some really nice feedback, very solid feeling. You can feel that. Let's you set your cruise control. Like these gloss black buttons. Very nice. I believe this is the face the one I'm saying facelift version. So there's some slight little subtle changes. You might be able to tell the interior. Soft touch dash. See some nice grey stitching here. Very nice. Ooh, padded glove box. Out back and Liberty. Vince, all cost black. Very nice. Don't have the key in the car, so I can't exactly show you the multimedia system. See, it's got NFC. Heated seats. Got three modes. And I th what was new with the clamp control is, um, I think they made it more powerful. I think that's one thing. Also, you can't see here, but there's also a little display here that displays your temperature as well, which is cool. Feels very satisfying. You the key, obviously. All your air conditioning settings, obviously. Climate control settings, sorry. Um, AC, fan speeds, it's lower, higher. Recycling, your sink. If you want to sync them both, they go at the same time. So individually. Front and rear to Mister. Very nice. Got some storage here. You got a power outlet. An aux port, two USB ports. It's also quite handy. You've got some rubber storage here. It's good for your phone so it doesn't move around. CVT transmission, as you can see here. You can see. Gloss black. It's got some black gloss black trim here. And this sort of brushed aluminium sort of finish. I think it's just plastic but it looks like brushed aluminium. Hill descent control, I believe that's for that. Electronic parking brake, you push down to release and to engage you pull it back. And camera views, X mode for when you're going on different terrain. You have two cup holders here, so they also are adjustable a little bit so you can remove the center if you like. So you get a big cup, it will hold it in place, small cup, 
you can do the same. It's also got a little bit of chrome, I don't know if you can see here. Nice, got a rubber armrest with some grey stitching here. Feels very nice. Lift this up. You've got a coin holder. I'll just put this where it should be. There you go. Got a coin holder and a wallet holder. You can move that if you like. And you got some padded storage here, which is very nice, along with a 12 volt power outlet. Very nice. Very nice armrest. Leather seats, as you know, they're also perforated. You have a look here, you can see the perforation. The leather is very soft, it's got some good lumbar support, There's, which is really good because the last thing it was flat seats, especially on long distance journeys. Very nice. You know, great look. So, it's great. Very wide. did mention it is soft touch than the dash, which is really nice, like the European cars. It's also soft here. Nice here, soft on the door cards, I think it's wrapped in leather. Or rubber, I think, I think rubber. But anyway, but it's very nice. Some grey stitching here. I want to look more silver stitching, this is more grey, I'd say. Soft armrest, which is really nice for the handles. Handle, sorry, what I'm saying. It's also got some stitching here. You can see here, and you got your switches here, some piano black finish. Switches feel very solid, very robust. Got the plastic there, but you got your speaker and some storage here for your large drinks and whatnot. Probably have a better look, angle, better angle over here. Very nice. Sorry, my tongue gets twisted because I talk too much. <laughs> so you've got a vending mirror here. You've got a card holder right here. It's also, um, it looks sort of perforated, I'd say. Look the, it's nice. It's good. You also have another one here. Yeah, my camera keeps going out of focus. It's annoying. A electronic sunroof, which I can't operate. The key. You got your interior illumination. You got your controls for your sunroof, obviously open close, a sunglass holder, which is very handy. Uh, your doors for your lights, obviously. Keep that on door. So when you open, obviously the door lights up. Yeah, you can see there. Very handy. Yeah, very nice. So the stitching goes all the way down. To that. Various other controls. Got memory positions for your your electronic tailgate, so you can set it at a certain height, so it doesn't so it doesn't open too high if you're in your garage with a low ceiling. Um, blind spot monitoring system, electric tailgate, anti collision get turned off, lane departure warning. Pretty much your stop start, all that you can turn these systems off if you like. That's just to adjust your display and all that the lighting of it oh I did forget you got your eyesight camera here which what that does that op what that does is it works for your adaptive cruise control so for example if the car what how that works is if your car is going and the car in front slows down the cruise control and the car itself it will automatically Tell the car to slow down so it doesn't hit the other vehicle. Also, you can set the distance you are from another car. So if you want to be a car length away or so on, you can set it like that. But it's also suggested to not touch it because what happens is that it actually messes up the calibration of the sensors. So they get recalibrated and it won't work. So be vigilant about that. So don't touch that. Also, I believe that works in the same sense with your lane departure warning. No, no, sorry, with your lane departure for the, when you go out of your lane. So stuff like that, that works there. Also, you have an auto dimming rear view mirror up there. Let's check, check out the rear seats. I don't open this too wide because I could hit it into a pole. 
Oh, I did forget. Stop start. So, yeah. Did I did mention the seats do fold down flat. So you can see that right there. Nice and flat. It's great. Uh, need to... Wait, hold on, don't give me this, this is going to look a bit messy. There you go. So about the radio, I really hope I don't get copyrighted for that. Sometimes you have no control. Very solid feeling doors. For that. Very solid. Okay. Here is the interior. The rear seats in particular. Fold this down. You have some really nice gloss black cup holders. It's got a bit of the film on it. Quite handy. Seats like the front are perforated, you can see there. Looks very nice. Isofix. I think. What does that do? Oh, I think that's to fold the seats though. Okay. Let's go into the center. All the drive, obviously, you got a bit of a tunnel here. If I lift this up, I'll pull it out. It's a bit hard to see. You got. Uh, two pockets. That's about it. Two pockets here. And I'll show you the dashboard from the rear seat. It's quite nice. Uh, sorry that I haven't been uploading videos lately because of I have exams, so I do apologise. But I am hoping to give you a real treat on Friday. New video, so yeah. Seats do fall down. I do already showed you that, but I might show you again. Okay, that releases these two. Or not. You get to hold it and then push it. Okay, so that just okay, that just adjusts. Sorry, so that just adjusts. How far you want to lean the seats down. So, so you had to pull those toggles at the back. My bad. My apologies. Headroom's quite good. Very good. Very good legroom. Obviously, I'm short, so this is different, but it's still pretty good. Soft touch here. It's very nice. Also have these nice gloss black with a little metal-looking plastic here. And trims. Rubber door cards, but they're very nice feeling. And you got some adequate storage here for the rear passengers, which is quite good. Okay. I already told you the seats do fold down. Oh, there you go. There's a button for it. So I'll just do that again. There's a button right here. Press that. It comes down. And that's how they come down. They don't lock in place, but... It's alright, some cars they do. It's nice. Very useful. Do it again on the other side. Uh. There you go. Nice and flat. Now I'll just show you the um I'll just show you the engine. There's a handle here. pretty hard to oh there it is it's pulling the fuse box it's funny okay so let's see what's under this top of this car spring assisted obviously your 2.5 liter engine so it's a pretty small engine so yeah you can see 
Um, Outbacks are made in Japan, in case you're curious to know, but here's your engine. There's not really much to see because everything's all below because Subaru engines are box engines like Porsche, like the Porsche boxes. So they, their cylinders go horizontally. Benefits of that, obviously, as you know, lower vibrations, lower center of gravity, meaning the car is more stable. And yeah, lower nose. But yeah, it's pretty good. Cool stuff. Genuine engine parts only. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the fuel cup. Doesn't tell you, but 95 so will be suggested for this. Some Subarus can run 91, so I didn't know that. Anyway, um, that's my little walk around of the. Subaru Outback facelift. Um, this car is for sale at Glen Waverley Subaru. I'll leave the details in the description below. Um, thanks for watching and sorry for the slow uploads because I just got exams now. But anyway, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.